if you've been following along or not, I've had a Ford F-250 Tremor King Ranch on order since September. And if you notice, this is not a Ford. <laughs> and, and I'll explain. The customer service and communication from Ford and the dealer has been piss poor at best. They can't give me any idea when I'm going to get a build date. I went back to the dealer. We removed some options from the truck to try to speed it up. That did no good. And then you're hearing rumors that they might cancel all heavy-duty tremors for 2022, which I can't wait 18 months to get a truck. You know, I tried to get my, I bought my father a 2016 Lexus NX, and it's about time to replace it. He's 80 years old, and hell, who knows how long he's going to live. I wanted to get him a new NX. Call the dealer, and the Lexus rep's like, they put on, Lexus has put a hold on all orders in North America. You know, they can, they can only get you what trickles into the lot. So across the board, trying to get a new anything right now just sucks. So I got a lot of towing coming up this year, whether it's a toy hauler, some other stuff I haul, which is, you know, not 20,000 pounds, but it's enough that I want a reliable vehicle. I had a 2018 um, GMC uh, Denali with the Duramax before, but I beat it to hell. It's four years old. It's having some issues with it, and I just didn't want to be on the road this summer with that vehicle. So what I did is every morning I'd get up and I'd do a custom search in uh, Google to try to get the latest organic search results for 2022 um, GMC or Ford F-250, 350s. And I ended up catching one just as it popped up in the index. Call the dealer right away. They had a 2022 Sierra Denali Duramax Black Diamond package with a couple thousand miles on it. Um, didn't love the price if you look at the used car market right now. Flip side of that, what they gave me for my four-year-old 2500 more than made up for the price on these gently used 2022. Um, I don't know. I, I look at what's going on with all auto manufacturers right now. They're not going to fix the supply chain constraints in a snap of a finger. Winnebago's got a $4.4 billion bad, bad backlog. Can't even speak right now. You got to think about how many RVs that is for Winnebago. Um, we're not going to fix this by September. So my question to you, and this is like an honest question. I'm now concerned that if I... If the Ford does get delivered, do you think that we're going to run into a bunch of quality issues because we got a worker shortage, we got a supply chain shortage, who knows what the parts are like coming from the tier two, tier three, tier, you know, suppliers because they're struggling with raw materials. I'm like, man, do I want to, they want to take delivery of a $90,000 truck that ends up being a lemon. I, I just... I'm thinking that I might just drive this thing for a year or two and hope the supply chain gets better. And, hell, it looks like I might not even get the Ford until next year anyways. So do you, for anyone that's got a truck on order or you see what's going on right now, drop a comment. Do you have the same concern that these a lot of these cars coming off the lines right now are going to end up spending a lot of times in the dealers? When I go on the Ford, the different Ford forums, so a lot of dudes out there making posts saying, hey, bought this truck, you know, three months ago and it, it spent 60 days in the shop. And like that's starting to concern me. It's like, do I even want to, now that I have a, a, a stopgap truck to where I can get what I need to get done here, do I even worry about the Ford at this point? Because what if it shows up and it's just a pile? It's too much money and then too much hassle. And it's like, okay, I get the Ford in, in June. And then it's got issues, and then it sits there all summer, and I still don't have my tow vehicle then. So I, right now I'm thinking, like, maybe I just cancel the Ford order or just let it sit and see what happens. I don't know what to do. I am happy that I got that um, off my chest where I can get the traveling done this summer that I need to do, that I want to do. Got a low-mile truck that hopefully doesn't cause any problems. You know, a few upgrades over my 2018. They're both Denali's, but the uh, back seat's quite a bit bigger. 
I feel like the bed's a little bit longer. Some of the interior materials are better and cheaper at the same time. The the temperature knobs they're like plastic. They're terrible in this truck. But, you know, some of the tech's better. And I'll do a review on it. I'm not all that excited because I've had, um, you know, Chevy trucks, GMC trucks for like 10 years now. And I was, I was ready for something new. I wanted to go forward. I wanted the King Ranch. I always wanted a King Ranch for reasons I can't even explain. Just a different interior style for once instead of black leather. Although this one's got the the brown leather with the gray. And I don't love it, man, but... If it's going to get me towing my stuff around in, in comfort and uh, I don't got to worry about it, then it's worth it. But I was just ready for something new. Give me the Ford. I, uh, you know, I want, I want this. I just wanted to pick the truck up done. Tremor. Got the mild lift down at the 35s. The winch. No aftermarket. I'm just going to pick it up and drive it home and be happy. Well, that's not happening now. So this truck... You know, it's got the black diamond package, it's got, you know, black wheels, it's whatever. It's a Denali. It's it's not terrible, it's just I've had these for so long. But again, what is your opinion? You know, do, you know, my, or, my Ford order is still out there. I know I can offload this thing probably for what I paid for it if I only put a couple thousand miles on it. You can't find a heavy-duty truck anywhere around here unless they're a few years older. And those are marked up so high, it's not worth it. Um, you can get like the, the GMC pro, like the work truck, which if you want that cool, but if you want anything with creature comforts, you got to order it. And the GMC dealer's like, well, if you want to order one, it's six to nine months. And I'm like, well, cool. But when I order my Ford, I think they said four to 10 weeks. And here we are going on seven, eight months. So how realistic is it like six to nine months? And the sales reps like, look, if you know what's going on in the world, you can't promise anything right now. So if you want a heavy-duty truck, good luck. Um, you can't really get one anywhere. I've seen a couple 1500s on the lot. I'm just, I'm also not one of those people. If you watch some of the trailer in YouTube's, where, um, what are they? They they title them something like, "You can tow a, this trailer or you can tow trailers with a half-ton truck," and it's like, of course you can. You can tow a lot of things with a half-ton truck. I just don't like the idea of towing in a half ton truck when I am completely maxed out. It's like, I always want some padding. If, if my truck can tow 20,000, I never want to tow 20,000 with that truck. Maybe I feel comfortable towing 15,000 max. And I, if you're in Michigan or wherever in the Midwest and I'm uh, probably out West too, you see these people that are towing their, you know, ass of their car or their well, their minivan or SUV, their truck, sagging down to the ground. They don't have a weight distribution hitch. All that weight's on the rear axle, which means there's not enough weight on the front axle, which means they won't be able to steer as good. And on top of it, the front brakes do how much braking. Um, there's so many things wrong you see traveling <laughs> up and down I-75. Uh, I just... You know, does anyone on the half-ton truck ever go to a CAT scale and see what their front axle and rear axle, looking at the, with the tongue weight, what that thing really does? You can definitely tow some smaller trailers with F-150s. I just, I want a little bit of extra padding, and I just want to feel a little safer. I want some power to move. I want the power to break. And uh, this is, I want, I want an F-250 2500 ish to tow at least tow the toy hauler if i got some stuff in the back right i'm going to be 10,000 11,000 pounds you know gen set up front all that stuff the toy haulers are always tongue heavy anyways like you're going to be pushing 1200 pounds on the tongue ish and you know you got a blue ox or an equalizer depending on what bars you got on that thing you know you can you can get that tongue weight down a little bit but Again, it's like I just—I was looking for a 2500 or F250. There, there are some half-ton trucks out there. Not a lot. I mean, it seems like Dodge has a few half-ton trucks. Chevy and Ford ain't looking like they got a whole lot of half-tons around around here, anyways. There's no, there's no uh, three-quarter tons or whatever. It's if you want anything like that, you got to order one. And it seems like even if you order one, you can't, you can't get one. I've had one on order since September. Like many of the people who follow my channel that comment on my Ford videos, these like horror stories of seven, eight, nine, ten 10 months. And I get it. No one 
seemed unreasonable. Like they thought they were going to snap their fingers and just order a custom truck and it's going to show up in four weeks. It's the fact that you're gone eight months and they can't tell you nothing. They can't tell you if it's going to be four more months, eight more months. They, they can't tell you jack. And I think that's my issue with Ford right now. So, so yeah, I got a new truck, but it's not the one I've been talking about. And unfortunately, it's just my same truck almost. I had a black, you know, 2500 Denali. I had black wheels on it. You know, essentially the same goddamn truck. A little more space. A little more technology. You know, I don't have my, uh, my last truck. I did the Fox coilovers in the front. And I ditched the uh, torsion bar. Which, I live on a dirt road, and I like driving fast, and the torsion bar and the and driving fast on dirt roads are just not. It, it's a little tougher to drive the way I like to drive. With the Fox coilovers before, uh, you know, I get, you know, 35, 45, 55 down a, a dirt road, and, um, you know, I was treating my 2500 like a, like a trophy truck, <laughs> essentially. Um, so anyways, I'll do a review on this for people that are even interested in um the gmc's or silverados and it's i'm looking forward to the new design if you see how they did the new 1500 that's not the way the 2022 hd is and it sounds like because of the semiconductor shortage that they're not even going to get the update the refresh done for the hds of 2023 so i don't know it rides smooth it's new ish still smells like a new truck couple thousand miles Hopefully it gets me to where I'm going and back safe with a little bit of comfort. And we'll see. Oh, you know, this, I don't even care about this crap, but, you know, I, it's got the, the kicker um, tailgate speakers. If you own one of those, like, Beats pills or JBL pills or whatever, the kicker stereo on the tailgate sounds like trash. <laughs> um, it sounds like a tinny radio. Like, you ever see those radios where... You, you can crank the side, and it, it, you can charge a light and run the radio at the same time. That's about how good the kicker tailgate system sounds. I would just rather throw a JBL pill up there and let that thing play. It's just a, it, it adds weight. I'm sure someone likes it. I'm kind of an audiophile. That thing just sounds like trash. Um, it's like you know a bunch of cool technology stuff that they didn't need it. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, this is technically my new truck for the moment. My Ford's still on order, so you're, I'm going to keep doing Ford videos until it either gets delivered or I cancel it. But if you think that there's a concern of trucks or any car showing up as lemons right now, or if you think there's going to be issues where they're going to be sitting in the dealer, especially if you work at a dealer, and if you've seen any of those issues, please drop a comment below for other people to see. But until then, I'm going to catch you on the next one.